Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Sagittarius. We are doing Get Over Your Ex and Why Are You Stuck? Uh, so the monthlies are up for March, so you can check them out. It's got the tarot along with the Reiki healing at the end, which everybody seems to love. So you could check those out. But I wanted to come on and do this spread because we just got done with the five-day challenge of Get Over Your Ex in the Facebook group. So um, I'm going to be leaving the videos up for another week or so. So if you want to join the challenge, you can either sign up with the, um, well, I advise you to sign up with the link in the description and in the comments, but also join the Facebook group to see the videos, okay? Uh, but you will get emails with the videos so whichever you prefer okay uh yeah so let's do this we're going to talk about the relationship whichever x you're thinking about the one that you are stuck on the relationship them you why you're stuck and how to move forward so i feel like in this relationship for you guys you've got the hierophant card and you got the empress I feel like this was a very um, masculine dominated uh, um, relationship. And I'm not saying like the guy was in power, it, it could be vice versa, but there was, a, there was a very masculine energy and there was a very feminine energy where, you know, the masculine energy, it's kind of like they're showing me back in the days when the husband went to work and you got to stay home and, you know, take care of the kids and stuff like that. So I do feel as though... You know, one one of you was very powerful, working, confident, making the money, bringing it in. And then the other one was the very nurturing, uh, loving, take care of the family um, type thing. That's what they're showing me with the higher font and the empress here. Okay, them. Huh. They're telling me, I'm, I'm kind of getting like the, a midlife crisis type of thing where they started to, to come to their own, to maybe change this dynamic a little bit with the Ace of Pentacles and the Moon card for them. You know, there might have been some darknesses that they faced, darkness that they faced, some shadows, some, they, they, they might have uh, become more aware or started healing themselves and creating this new beginning for themselves and uh, seeing things differently. All right, so let's see about you. Oh, you got the King of Swords and the Knight of Wands. I'm getting it. You might not have liked that so much. You might not have liked them coming into their own, changing things around the dynamic of the relationship uh, with that King of Swords energy, I feel. And then the Knight of Wands, um, I just feel like you might have been very, uh, hmm, that's another word, I don't want to use that word. Uh, you might have been trying to plan things out so much, you know, and maybe kind of... Um, I, don't, I just got the feeling you didn't like this very much and you might have been doing things in order to block it, all right? Um, but you were very, I feel like with that King of Swords energy, it's very just stern and kind of like, nope, this is how it's been and I don't want it to change. A little bit nervous about changing. Wow, that world card is coming out a lot. So why you're stuck, you got the world and you got the Ace of Cups. And I'm feeling that you had this vision of what your life was going to be. And because of all of this stuff happening, it was changing. And you got that Ace of Cups, like that, that new beginning here. So I think you're stuck because, you know, and we talk about this in the challenge about grieving the vision of the future. You know, a lot of the times we think we're we're stuck because of the person, but a lot of the times we're, we're grieving the vision of what our future was going to be. And in the challenge, you'll hear my story about that because that happened with me as well, where we had this whole life planned out and then it was gone. Mm. So the Knight of Cups and the Tower is how to move forward. So what I'm feeling here for you is to, and I know this is going to sound like ugh, roll your eyes type of thing. And we, 
also talk about that in the challenge. But the Knight of Cups is about that love, taking action with love. And the Tower is about things coming crumbling down. So I truly feel here that there's a lot to work on with inside of yourself. Um, they're telling me going back to the past as to why um, things need to be a certain way to move forward, okay? Um, and how to kind of let go of that, oh, it's 11-11, guys. Uh, how to let go of the vision of the future and how to let go of the loss of it, you know? So, and how to leave this person and detach yourself from them with love and not resentment and not anger and all of that. So I hope that resonates with you guys. Uh, leave me comments below. Let me know. Um, and again, if you want to sign up for the five-day challenge to get over your ex, like I said, so many great results, epiphanies, mindset shifts, healing, uh, so great. So um, yeah, so leave me some comments below. Let me know. Also, let me know if you guys want me to do mid-months and if you want me to do uh, the Reiki in the mid-months or just the tarot. Okay, let me, I want to know what you guys think. I might start doing them next month if I get enough comments about them, okay? Sign up, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Much love to all of you and I will see you soon. Bye.